I'm in the daytime kitchen with Kim Butterfield from the Virginia Cooperative Extension, and today we are talking about diabetes, which goes hand in hand with Baby Week, right? A little bit, yeah. So we're talking about diabetes prevention, and yeah. one of the risk factors for getting diabetes later in life is having gestational diabetes when you're pregnant. Which is kind of common, right? It is. It okay. is fairly common, and, and actually pre-diabetes is very common across the country. So one in three American adults has pre-diabetes, and most folks don't even know that they do. Really? So you all have a program. So tell us about the program that you have. Yes. Yeah, so the Diabetes Prevention Program, we like to call it the DPP. Um, it is a program meant to help people who are approaching that type 2 diabetes line mm -hmm. and, and walk back from that through healthy eating, increased okay. physical activity, and some social support in order to make sure that they never actually develop type 2 diabetes. Okay, so when we come back in here, we're going to actually make a healthy recipe yes. um, that goes hand in hand with this. So yeah. um, that sounds great. Thanks so much for coming, Kim. We'll see you in just a little bit. We are back in the daytime kitchen with Kim Butterfield and we're talking diabetes prevention and you have a great recipe, right? We do. So this is a Greek layer dip and like I was just saying, it's a great substitution for some of the other layer dips out there that might be a little heavier on the cheese and sour cream Yeah. Um, and takes advantage of a lot of good produce that's available right now. Okay. All right. So How do we do it? Yeah, let's yep. dig so, in here. Um, we've got hummus, uh, green onions, Greek yogurt plain, and then a variety of vegetables, cucumbers, tomatoes, some olives, feta cheese, and then chives. And it's really just um, as simple as um, just like we said it's just a layer dip so if you've made like I said the did you do you version. make your hummus or do you buy it from the store if and I have time to make it okay. I will just because it's so simple um, and it's so much cheaper to make yeah. um, on your own but of course you can always just cheat a little bit and, yeah. and buy the the store-bought stuff. So. And then you mm -hmm. said just plain Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. So this has no flavoring oh, right. to it um, and it gives you that same sort of like tanginess as yeah. a sour cream would um, but just a little bit healthier for yeah, you. Yeah I'm giving you good protein. Absolutely. It's gonna keep you fuller longer. Right. Okay mm -hmm. yeah and then you just start adding the good stuff in yeah, here. So we've just got some I mean, it's all good stuff, stuff but I mean like Absolutely. the good veggies and yeah. fresh stuff. Yep and you can just spread it around and brought it in this nice clear dish. This is a great recipe if you're going out to like a potluck or something like that and you want to bring something a little bit different. People love anything they can, they can dip and uh, eat with chips. These are all just yes. all sorts of different tomatoes. Yeah, so these are some colors. beautiful different multicolored tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Everyone with a garden right now knows oh, that yeah. their, mm -hmm. their tomatoes are in full bloom. And these are just Kalamata olives. Um, you could use whatever kind you, if you prefer black or whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. They're my favorite yeah. as well. That's what I always use those. And, and then feta just some cheese. Feta cheese, yep, adds a little bit of saltiness to it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And is feta cheese like feta cheese is pretty good? It's pretty for you? good for okay. you. Yeah, just okay. like with anything, you're gonna want to have it in moderation. But um, it's so strong, you can have a little bit and feel like you've gotten a lot of flavor oh, from right. that. So it. there you go. It's so beautiful. Super easy. Beautiful. And like you said earlier, you have some programs for people if they're interested in diabetes prevention? Yeah, so we're looking for folks, um, some, some risk factors like we talked about before, gestational diabetes is, is a risk factor, but also anyone who's overweight, maybe if your doctor has told you that you're pre-diabetic or borderline diabetic is mm -hmm. another way that it's often said, um, being over 45 or having a parent or a sibling who has type two diabetes, mm -hmm. all those would qualify you for this particular program. Okay, how do we sign up for the classes? Yeah, um, we want to talk with you kind of about um, where you're at and so just to give our office a call, um, Virginia Cooperative Extension Roanoke, um, and we'll walk you through the process, um, get some information for you and get you signed up. All right, okay. tell you what, this dip is good. I know, this dip is so delicious. <laughs> I just don't want to like chew in my mic. I feel so bad. <laughs> but I really want to, once I we know. got a break, I'm going to get a into this thing. Yes, and we are going to um, offer up this recipe on our website, Daytime Blue Ridge. Dot com. Just look for the Greek layer dip. 